continuing with a uh, PlayStation. There's a uh, we are we we discussed on the last last show, Chris, about the uh, PS Plus, Bloodborne and Ratchet and Clank yeah. and all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, you actually showed me this before I read it. But uh, Bloodborne's out now for free. Yep. And it looks like what it's going to have like a uh, just a. A rebirth online? Is that what it seems like Yeah, I guess happened? they're trying to rally all the old school Bloodborne players to jump back in and kind of hold the noob's hands and create some, some more, uh, a bigger fan base for it. Because I guess, what is it? You can you can call in a friend or something, like if you're stuck. Yeah, you it's can... great. So it has the, yeah, the, the co-op play oh, really? stuff. So. That's the Sony, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Bloodborne is... is... Or... No, it's... um. It's uh, oh my god, is it exclusive from, from software? From software, uh, yeah, it's exclusive, but um, it's the Dark Souls team, so right. it's exactly the same as like the Dark Souls games. Uh, but it has one of those things that if you want to level quick, I mean, you can just there's no, I don't think there's any level restrictions. So if you're a high level and you warp in, and somebody warps you in after you're already playing a section, mm-hmm. they can just go nuts and just like one hit kill crazy enemies and you will level really fast so they're basically like speed leveling hmm. all these new players because i mean the game has a steep uh difficulty yeah. curve you know if you never played that shit so i could see a lot of people just being like fuck this is it more you know? like if you get stuck you could just you can call someone and they jump in from what I understand, yeah, and then like, uh, yeah, you get, like ring, yeah. you ring a bell or something. They, uh, from what I was yeah, reading, yeah. it's like if yeah. don't be ashamed to ring ring the bell. So if you're if you're stuck, just you know, get the help. Don't and then waste the, your time trying to you know fight something. You know, it, just get the boost you need to move on, and then you can go back then, to uh, being on your own. Then, yeah, then they just jump back out. I assume yeah, so. I mean, they can, as long as they yeah. want to be in the session, it's kind of like in like MMO games where they you do the same stuff. But the thing is, in a lot of those online RPG games, if you're a high level and you party with somebody with a low level, you're not going to get the experience yeah. points distributed right because they know you're kind of like faking it. Right. So. But they don't care. Like when you play Bloodborne because it's was that in the uh, I don't know, it's cool. the GameSpot? Hmm. Was that in the GameSpot uh, link that you posted? Uh yeah, okay. More details on that. But yeah, see, yeah. I feel like that makes more sense than just like the um, what was it the EA model where they're just saying here, play with this guy and watch him kick your ass and then buy a sniper rifle and be like him. And oh yeah, he, like watching other not, people open up their loot crates or their, their you know. Yeah, but you're not really just because you have the same gun doesn't mean you're going to be like the same, right? You know, level as that guy. As far as a, oh, more like, more like power, power leveling than than that, than yeah. Like you know, yeah. leading you That's on. That's fun with the though. Character. I mean, the game's like what three years old. I think I think it's cool that they're just like doing that. That's yeah. the way to get people back in. Yeah, level yeah. up real fast. Not just know. shitting on all the noobs and this is our mm-hmm. game. Who are they? Like they're like no. Nah, let's let's help these people out. Yeah. yeah, let's be nice. Let's be nice gamers. So we got enough of a bad rap. Yeah, you know, it, it's good, and it, it, it's rare these days, Chris, to see nice gamers, especially in a, a game as violent as mm-hmm. uh, Bloodborne, you know? Yeah, it's, it's the game's a little violent. It's true. So much so that it's, it's causing up a stir. That's right. Don't you think? It's causing up a stir. Well, it got the president's um, attention, that's for sure. That game. It got the president's particular? attention. No, no, I just wanted to, I just wanted to segue yeah. in. Um, I thought that he was going to bring up, like, Manhunt again or something. <laughs> yeah, this game from 2002. I we've been here before. <laughs> Many um, times. Remember Manhunt? Like, I was like so pumped up to be like, like, oh, it's gonna fucking yeah. blow your mind. It's gonna be rated adult. It wasn't really that exciting. <laughs> no, it's not. Like, Very repetitive, right? Dude. Oh yeah, it kind of sucked. Everyone that like defends Manhunt, um, <laughs> Manhunt was not that good. Well, I heard Manhunt Two is worse, but Manhunt was so slow. Yeah. Until you got guns. And then when you got guns, like, the whole feel of the game went from, like, stealthy, like, creep killing to, like, just, like, a old school, like, siphon filter, third person, run and gun shit. Yeah, but I feel like they just, there was so much hype behind it that you were, everyone was, like, excited to check it out, you know? 
Yeah, it was cool. It just wasn't. I mean, it was just like all those all those off developer Rockstar games during that time. They were all fucking good games, but they yeah. weren't like the Rockstar North. Games. I do remember it being kind of pretty slow though. Yeah, it wasn't that good. But I, I was trying to think of the the other game that they had. Was that one? Uh, Bully. The, the Warriors. Oh, Bully. Yeah, yeah Bully's yeah. pretty cool. I don't cool. really remember that though. I, that wasn't bad though. Like nah. the, the the hype for Bully was worse than the actual content because yeah. They thought you were going to yeah, be bully. able to, you know, beat up kids, and like, it was going to be Grand Theft Auto in high school, basically. But it yeah. really wasn't that. Mm-hmm. And Bully told like a cool little story and stuff. I, bully was Bully was good. I just remember, you know, everyone was talking about like the the cursing and stuff, and like there was a lot of cursing, but like that was that time period where cursing was like so overdone because they could do it. Right. Yeah. And you're just like walking by in manhunt, and the guy's like, "You fucking cock sucking fucking." Fucking titty fucking! Like he runs out, and you're like, "Holy, this isn't even." He doesn't. He shouldn't even be cursing. You just that don't much. even hear it anymore. I know. <laughs> over the top, dude. There's some videos of like games that do over the top cursing, and it's really funny. Like just <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah. So video game violence is uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's causing a stir because whenever yeah. there's a. Uh, you know, when there's a, a tragedy or something that's especially gun related, they always try to find these um, <laughs> reasonings that aren't the scapegoats. Just like, you know, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 it, you know, out of all the things, you would think maybe you know regulating how you get a gun would help right. gun gun violence, but no, it's um, it's playing Grand Theft Auto and, and games like that. So that's what you're hearing, and it's so yeah. funny to me because today they had the meeting. Today, yeah, Absolutely. the president had had a meeting. I didn't but, hear um, anyone talking about guts and glory. I mean, that's you can <laughs> actually kill a baby in that. So, yikes! I just think it's funny because like everybody knows that that's bullshit. Like, I don't think there's really, I can't think of anyone that I know that'd be like, "Yep, that's it." Video, see, video game violence or making kids turn into murderers. Yeah, but it, it does bother <laughs> me because like that is a freedom that. You know, they could take away, but no one gives a shit. Essentially, as long as you can still get a gun, yeah. they don't care well, what yeah. you can. They can, I mean, you can censor everything from. The, they're just trying to yeah. find. You know, they're just trying to have like answers to things that are not just what in, is in front of their face. Yeah. Everyone knows what's what's the problem. It's just that video yeah. game violence. Like, it's just a distraction. Um, it's like I don't think the Taliban sitting around playing GTA all day to get pumped up. Yeah. Well, I think I mean anyone anyone that's has some time on their hands could be playing GTA. I, it's, it's a, yeah, I don't think ISIS. It's, is a, it's probably that. one of the best, uh, you know, pick up and play, lose lose concept of time, get lost in it. GTA is the way to go. Yeah, you can pick anything uh, that everybody is doing and say like, oh, studies found that he combs his hair every morning. We're gonna have to look into you know every yeah, every yeah. killer so far has combed his hair. Like everybody plays. This, these same games, yeah. you know, it's why they're making more money than than the movie industry, or you know, why it's such a huge industry because everybody's playing it. If it was just these psychopaths, yeah. then they wouldn't be making the money that they're making. But I feel like it, I feel like it is a an outlet in the sense that maybe if you did have a bad day, instead of driving a car into a crowd of people, you might want to go home and just do it on GTA and laugh about yeah. it. You know what yeah, I mean? It gives you that satisfaction. <laughs> There's Please. no, there's really, they, they try to make this correlation because you're like, you're involved in the game. Like when you play a video game, you're interacting with yeah. it and there's killing. So that for, to them, that logically means that you are being trained as a killer, whatever the fuck their logic is. Right. right. But, um, but that, that kind of leads to my other point was like, the, the irony of this is that all these people are pro military and the military does use this type of realistic simulation oh, yeah, to train certain, people yeah yeah like the same kind of shit yeah and i did see something about a whistleblower who was i think in nevada or something and they were operating the drones that are killing people in pakistan mm-hmm. and it, it was like a nine to five job and they walked away from it like and they're expected to not feel but they're just expected to turn it off hmm. and, and those yeah. people were claiming or the whistleblower guy was claiming that he was having like, PTSD from it because he knew he was really killing people. You know what I mean? Mm. But well, that, sure. there's a distinction yeah. there between that and video <laughs> games. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, there is but it's set up something like, a video like that. Game might... too, you're sitting in front of the screen, you have the controllers, you're moving the. Yeah. The, uh, and I mean, up. that could desensitize you a bit from like what you're actually doing, yeah. I guess. Like, it might, yeah. might, you know, it might be a little bit of a way to get past that. But at the same time, it's not the same fucking thing, dude. Yeah. It's not the same fucking It's a completely different thing. So uh, they use, they use a, a simulation that you could argue is like a video game. But right. ah, it's just, it's just bonkers. Um, but the the meeting itself, I didn't I didn't catch up on anything. Uh, you said, Chris, nothing really came of, about it. Or yeah, of it. like we pointed out earlier, you know, Donald Trump's brother is on, you know, head of uh, what is he? Zen. Yeah, Zen. part of the Zenimax, company. Zenimax? Yeah, Zenimax. It used to be owns, Bethesda Games, I think, Jamie. Yeah, and uh, Take Two. Oh, so okay. he's got some stake in this. So he can't really pull the rug out from under his brother by. You know, banning the sales of of the, the the games that his brother owns. I wouldn't put it past them though. So, so yeah, but you know, it just won't happen. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just I don't I don't really. It's just yeah, nothing's like same, come with it. But what about any entertainment like movies? Yeah. Like I mean, there's movies where there's like serial killers all the time, and they show. Like I, honestly, I learned. I've learned more things. From watching True TV to how to successfully get get away with right, a murder, exactly. even than the, playing uh, a video game. The news also yeah. telling you how someone did something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, then you can watch the local news. It's just a lot of fear and a horrible thing. The worst place is uh, prison. People say when they go to prison, yeah, they've refined their criminal skills by learning from the other criminals, and when they finally get out they're better at it than they were when they first went in and go right back to it. Yeah. They're better at GTA? Is that what we're talking about? No, like being like, criminals. <laughs> no, I was just joking because they, 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 they're, they're criminals well, and they, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. With they're that. probably playing video it's games just, all day in jail for free. Yeah, yeah. I just think it's There's, gross the, and just in general, the whole yeah. scapegoat thing that, you know, the gross same, is a good the same word. people yeah, are, that are like, staunchly defending the second amendment and gun rights instead of focusing on that one issue looking for something else to deflect it then you're just as bad as the people that you're fighting against yeah who want to abolish you know uh you know people owning guns and stuff like that well the thing like real quick with that it's just like people that you know the only people that are really against changing these gun laws or regulate tightening up regulations it's just the people that are tied to like the the companies themselves the corporations and the people tied to their their money like i mean the the people yeah the people all want the same thing like no one's against truthfully like who's really fucking against tightening up gun regulations so people so crazy people can't fucking get guns as easy. Yeah, I mean, if like, the majority no of the one... NRA are like law-abiding citizens, why would they care if they have to go an extra two days or something with a background check? They're already yeah. They never have. They never have out. an answer, dude. They never have a real answer. They 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 just straight lie and they say, "Oh, we we do. We are for this." Yeah. And that never. No, they're well, not. I, I mean, do you guys they're... watch um, last week tonight at all? Yeah, I mean, I watch it. I catch up on it when it throws when it yeah. gets up on. YouTube. Last week they did a good piece about like nra has a tv channel on like apple tv and roku and stuff and mm-hmm. and uh amazon fire and like yeah. essentially the whole their all their all their videos are basically or all their channel tv programs are basically infomercials on selling guns <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Know, they're like um, they have an ex navy seal and he's like uh if someone breaks into your house like the best defense is an AR-15. Like it's basically just selling machine guns and, and gun propaganda. There's a there's it's a ridiculous. massive Dip. there's a massive um, ad push from the NRA right now on YouTube. Yeah. So a lot of like progressive and more left, I guess, news channels will have NRA ads and shit. Yeah. Like they're everywhere. Like it's just fucking. It's just. But, I mean, they become they silly. become like a corporate. Like they're just basically an infomercial for corporate interest for guns. It's just like, like it's bonkers to me today because. We've hit a point that, like, uh, I mean, people were just kind of sheep with it, but people are, like, a little bit more, like, awake. Like, the everyday person kind of knows that, for the most part, a lot of this is just bullshit, mm. you know? Yeah. And the government and the com- the corporations are just lying to you or they're just bullshitting. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but uh, 
It's just it's just silly. Yeah. It's fucking silly. I wanted to jump real quick. Well, uh, we should bring it into a, the positive. We should bring. Well, it... I, have a, I, have oh. a, I have a local angle on this too. Yeah, so do the local okay. angle thing because there is something. Um... Well, as you know, I'm I'm a Rhode Islander, right? <laughs> born yes, born you and are. raised in Rhode Island. Well, our um, one of our uh, state rep- representatives, Bobby Nardalillo. <laughs> that guy. He's, oh man, he's uh, Nard. He he's um, introducing legislation that will uh, put a tax on M-rated games, <laughs> M-rated or higher, as they put it. So like, yeah. Adult only, uh, not, uh, not that we see that many of them, but um, you know that made that made some pretty big news um, in in the video game circles about this. You know, it'd be a ten percent fee, and the money would be used to go to uh, mental health and counseling. Okay, fine, but you know that money can come from somewhere else. This you don't gonna... have to tax, but you know, having been in the state for a, for a while, you know, when you hear things now that this guy's in in the light. Might have some dirt on Bobby Nard- Nardalillo. You want some? You want the dirt on Bar- Bobby Nardalillo? You got the dirt. I got the dirt. You, because you're a local. Yeah. You want? You want to know what I got? Not I a fucking thing because the... I never heard of this dude until this happened. Because he is so. Congratulations, oh. Bobby Nardalillo. Everyone Nardalillo. knows who you are now. Great job. Well, he good must job. be running. He's gonna be running for something else. Yeah. He looks like a fucking. Mafia man in the pictures I see. He has that white suit. What's Rhode Island for? When he was speaking, yeah. I can't tell and he's you. Got... His name he looks... is popular around here. The Nardalillo name because there's the Nardalillo funeral home where uh, all the paisans, <laughs> when they all kick off, that's where they go. Mm. They're uh, you know before they're putting their final resting home. So I assume he's part of that family. Well, they're, you know, if he big in the does state. have mob ties, what better kind of place to run than a funeral home? You can put a body inside the casket with another that's body. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Is he a state? A he, you said he was a state uh, yeah. lawmaker. Yep. State. What's What's your state's position on like on gun control? Like how do they usually lean more strict or? It's It's pretty divided. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rhode Island's liberal for the most part, um, but um, you know, like in the more rural areas and stuff, you know, yeah. they got their little militias and you know a lot of a lot of gun owners so and it, it, it was fairly easy to get a gun i guess in certain towns mm. and um so there's a lot of pushback on uh you know banning of of the uh of guns but i think from i want to i want some proof on this but i heard in, in the pr- primary rhode island um voted bernie sanders by popular vote oh yeah uh, but the you know the state still voted for Hillary. But, yeah. Um, from what I understand, he won popular vote by write-in, which is huge. So that kind of tells you their stance on it. They're mm. kind of done with both sides. They didn't want to hear it from anybody and kind of yeah. went for the yeah. un- un- underdog and didn't quite go that way. So going back to the game tax, that'll probably just push more gamers to like use eBay or some other means of getting their game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Where, where you can yeah, kind of like how do you that. how do you how do you track that? And they're also thinking about um, poor game doing stop. like a like a twenty dollars syntax on on porn, like charging, like putting porn behind a a uh, paywall across the whole state. Like, uh, yeah. how are you going to enforce that? <laughs> I don't know, but they're you if know, it's free already porn. online. How are you going to enforce that? Yeah. <laughs> porn and video games man they're trying to tax a demographic of people that have no fucking money so I don't know <laughs> those people just play their video games and masturbate to porno so I don't understand they don't have any time for jobs and stuff you know 